Welcome all to Total War League Siege Season 6. This is the week 2 matchup between Galici, Corvi, and the Deathbringers in the City of Tur. This is game number 1, a link to game number 2 can be found at the top of your screen. Yes, Don't forget you can watch most of these battles live on Twitch on Marketable Skills channel, a link is provided down below. Now let us take a view at the contenders and the armies they have brought to the field. Starting us off with the attackers from Galici, Corvi, we have Egypt, played by Raifu, bringing the might of the Pharaoh. Next up, their ally Armenia, played by Ruvak, ready to dish out some pain with those axes. Heading side from Deathbringers, we have Bactria, played by Kaichi. Those Syrian archers will be the difference maker. Next up, their ally Parthia, played by Lemurex, bringing three units of cataphracts. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. This is week two of... And I think this is Group C. We have Galici Corvi on the attack here. Egypt and Armenia facing off against Parthia and Bactria on the defense. We have Deathbringers on the defense here. This is the city of Tur. We have the capture point right here. Attackers got to get there. Defenders got to defend it. But it's nice to see a barbarian settlement here. We, in, we are in here week two. We do see a lot of, I think the city was Tullifurdum. A, a lot of the battles here from week two were played on Tullifurdum. So it's nice to see a different option here with the city of Tur. It's pretty nice to see. But right at the start, we do have some cataphracts here. You saw them, they all kind of, well, they just kind of disintegrated into the freaking trees here. But they're over here now. The attackers are aware of those units. They are going to start opening fire on this corner wall piece here. But without anything really happening, I will go ahead and fast forward it until we get into our nice and juicy combat. So I will see you all in a moment. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it seems the order has been given. We had some cavalry and infantry make their way around outside the settlement here. I will actually slow this down to give a little bit of a recap. There's kind of some weird stuff going on. We do have the hillmen getting engaged here in the breach. And we also, we also have some Parthian foot archers unloading into these axemen here as they're kind of shifting around the siege tower. But basically we had two units of hillmen make their way outside the settlement. We had the general here from Parthia. There is a unit of cataphracts right here and somewhere around right here. The attackers have slowly kind of pushed forward. We even have the general out here as well. But what happened is Armenia sent up a single unit of hillmen, marched them into the settlement. They got immediately charged into and then Bactria's general came up rear charged him and then ran away and then nothing happened for about five minutes and then just now you saw a tattered unit of hillmen charge out of the settlement and just get completely steamrolled by Pila right here but now it seems i'm hoping the fighting has actually just begun because i've been skipping forward for about 10 minutes now so let's go ahead and set this to normal speed and let's start witnessing the carnage hillmen with a single bronze chevron interesting enough Going to be duking it out here in the breach. I'm, I'm going to already apologize ahead of time if I don't get a whole lot of close-ups. I do want to watch this cavalry. We have some camel cataphracts. They're getting shot at. Are they going for the Armenian general? Yes, they are. They are going for Armenia's general. They're going to charge. Are they going to hit him, though? They're going to hit one guy. They're going to trample charge, and that's a waste of a trample charge. They're going to pull off there. Wow. That sucks to see. Camel Cataphracts wasting the trample charge. They're going to be exhausted after this, so they are going to pull back. Over here, we have the Royal Cataphracts now, though. Looking like they're going to go for a charge into Levy Thuriel Spears. They're not braced. They have their javelins out. Oh, there's a better trample charge. Look at that. Completely flattening the unit. Levy Thuriel Spears. Half the unit dead off the charge. They are wavering now. But we have a lot of peltists and archers unloading into the royal the royal cataphracts here. Already dropping below. Okay, that's nearly 15 dropped already. They did break it. But that unit is still able to come back. Royal cataphracts. Losing 13 men off that charge. But they just destroyed at the Rayo Spear. Camels making their way back. They are very tired. Inside the settlement, we have Bactrian hillmen and some Parthian swordsmen facing off against some Armenian hillmen here. Trying to get positioned, and here we go. We got another cav charge. 
Camel Cataphract's gonna charge into the Cartly Axemen head on, as well as some Thorax Swords and Eastern Archers are gonna get a little bit of the Archers there. Cartly Axemen not gonna take too many losses, but they are just gonna flatten half or even a quarter of that uh, Eastern Archer unit. Walking away with 62 kills, but they're gonna get peeled in the back. Ooh, already dropping 30 camels. Back over here, this Royal Cataphract just cleaned up that Levy Thorail Spear. Pretty sure it came back from routing over here and just got flattened, so that's gone. Camels down to 50 men, very tired. Definitely need to keep them away from combat for a little bit. But we have Egypt mounting some siege towers as well as Armenia pushing some up as, as well over here on the right side. Thorax Swords making their way into the settlement, gonna get charged by the Bactrian Hillmen. Thorax Swords gonna try and get into it here. Got another unit of Thorax gonna try and get into the settlement here. Hillmen from Parthia breaking. Parthian swordsmen ready to join the fight. Cataphrax. What's going on here? What's going on with the Cataphrax? Oh no, Royal Cataphrax, they're so expensive. Don't let them die. They're gonna go for the Peltists though. Nope, they're gonna peel off. All oh, right, they have already lost nearly half the unit. Royal Cataphracts are like nearly 1,400 dinars. They're like something stupid expensive. They're like 12, 1,300, maybe even almost 1,400. And they've only gotten 128 kills and they are down to 30 men. They're dr- oh my gosh. Parthia, you're hurting my soul. Yep, that's a peel out of the face. Yep, they're dead. And they are gone. 128 kills. By golly, that could have been a hell of a lot more. Royal Cataphracts are probably one of the only Cataphract units in the game. Well, I mean, it's a Cataphract unit, so a lot of Cataphract units can do this. But it is one of the more powerful units of Cataphracts. And they are able to get easily like three to 400 kills like very easily, just with proper engagements and proper charges on the right units. That's an easy three to 400 kills for that unit of Cataphracts, especially the Royal Cataphracts. And to only see them have 128 kills, that's going to be a huge letdown for Parthia. That's a lot of gold spent on Parthia's part to not have them get the amount of kills that they honestly need to get. But we do have the Camel Cataphracts moving around over here. Trample charge going up for both of these guys. Camel's gonna take the worst of that charge. Royal Cataphracts. Yeah, I don't I don't know what the point of this was. What is going on here? Parthia just throwing away another thousand gold unit. Wow. Only 67 kills. Camel cataphracts. No. So that is two units of Cataphracts from Parthia that could have easily gotten over 300 kills each and just absolutely decimated the archers, been a huge threat to any of the units here, and they're going to both break and leave the battlefield here with a combined kill count of less than 200. That hurts. I am a lover of cavalry, so to see the cavalry like that die really fast really hurts my soul, but now that the cavalry is dead, we can focus on the actual melee here. Bactrian and Hillman outside, charging into these axemen. They're not going to fare too well out here. They do need some archer support. These axemen are just going to mess up these Hillmen. They're going to get flanked by the Thorax Swords, especially since there's no cavalry. Right now, the cavalry could have just been hiding right there and just, boom, flank charge, flank charge, boom, hit that right there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Opportunity. Opportunity. 67 kills. But yeah. Thorax Swords now getting shot sword side here. Egypt's Thorax Swords. Gonna get freaking pummeled. Bactria is definitely going to have to pull some serious weight here with these Syrian archers and a lot of his infantry. As Parthia has lost two very expensive cav units and only got less than 200 kills combined with both of those units. So, mm. sucks, sucks to happen, but it is what it is. Parthian Swords here under the arrow tower. 
starting to break here. This tower will soon be captured by the attackers. Artillery firing in on those archers over there. We've got some Cartley Axemen here, I think. Yep, throwing their Pila. And they are now going to charge in, replace these Thorax that are pretty much broken at this point. Thorax Swords and Parthian Swordsmen charging in. We got a new unit of Thorax going in, cycling out with the Winded Thorax here. The Bactrian Hillman outside the walls. 65 kills, not too bad on this one. However, 18 on this unit here, not, not too good. We do have... Oh, we actually had the Royal Cataphracts here. Looks like they use Trample Charge. But Parthia, or Armenia has sent over his own Royal Cataphract. Back inside the city, we have archers unloading on both sides. Mercenary Cretans unloading into Parthia's Parthian swordsmen here, and then we have the Parthian foot archers unloading into the currently axemen. But there is there is a gap. There is a gap here. Plug the gap, or attackers exploit the gap. Getting shot at. Getting shot at. Need to make a move. But, I mean, they are kind of in a decent position here. They do have the arrow tower right there, shooting down, getting free kills. Two arrows going out both sides. A lot of free shots. Artillery opening fire, 57 kills. We do have Bactria's general here. 61 men left, 62 kills. And then we also have the Royal Cataphract somewhere out here, but... Dang, man, I just can't get over it. That was like 2,300, maybe 2,400 dinars worth of... Very powerful shot cav that could have gotten like six, seven hundred kills combined. Like both units combined, kill count could have been near six hundred kills easily. You didn't even have to engage him, you could have just had him sitting out here as like a threat. Dang. That sucks. Because if you have cav outside the walls, you know, you, you force the attackers to keep infantry outside, so they just piecemeal their units inside, and then you just shred them with the archers out and inside. But, I mean, so far, the defense is going pretty well. Balance of power is pretty even. Thorax swords here, paired with the axemen, going to cycle out. Bactria's Thorax sword's going to charge in, finish them off. Archer fire going sword side into these Parthian swords, though. Oh, boy, look at the juicy shots coming in. Actually, has Thorax Swords trying to hold this flank. Just cut that dude's head off. Just threw him over on the shield. Look at him. Throw him over. Actually, the arrow tower was neutralized for a moment there. But it is being captured once again by the attackers. We do have Armenia with another unit of Carly Axemen. Attackers do need to get another unit of infantry to go this way. Yeah, get a unit to go this way. Get two to go that way. It'll be solid. We do have Archer Fire on both sides, though. Just... Mercenary Syrians getting some shots on the thorax. We even have Eastern Archers outside from Armenia firing into Parthian Foot Archers. Parthian Foot Archers are going to fire back, get the better of them there. We actually have some Hillmen using the Siege Tower to try and get around this defense with the thorax swords. And we have uh, the Breach. Or not, you know, at the Breach, we have a gap once again forming here. Thorax Sword's going to charge up. Try and help out this other tattered unit, but there is an opening here. We need to get some thorax up, or you need to fall back. What's going on out here? I feel like everything, every time I look away, something new is going on. We have some hillmen out here. I guess they returned from routing and they just died immediately. Strange. Axemen here, though. Pushing up the siege tower. Thorax swords ready to meet them. At this point, I would say maybe form defensive line, kind of like that, maybe? You could probably put, like, two units here, and, like, one unit there. Or something. Or even, like, one unit, like, right here. But this is just not working out. These are these are sword side shots. You got all these archers right there just shredding him. But hold on, here comes the Royal Cataphracts from Parthia. They are winded. Shield wall gonna go up on these Thorax. And they will get it in time. They will have shield wall go up. Parthia's general, though, just getting shredded by skirmishers, and Pila, oh my god, half the unit dead, and they're gonna turn around and take javelins to the butt. 
Second wind going up on him. What the heck is Parthia doing? Pro tip to Parthia, my my dear son of, of the cavalry. The great Khan has words for you. If you are microing cavalry, you better just forget whatever you're doing inside. The cavalry is more expensive. Just focus on the cav. Micro the cav. If you can't do both, focus on one. Focus on whatever's more expensive. Because that is your general's unit especially. Only 25 men left in the unit and 19 kills. They're going to get chased off by that Armenian general. But I mean... Well, yeah, think about it. Bactria has the defense pretty pretty solid here. It's got all of these archers, mercenary Syrians, and then I think the Parthian foot archers somewhere around here. Parthian light archers, maybe. Persian light archers, I think is what they're called. And all these units, Thoreo spears, thorax swords, chopping down the hillmen here on the walls. I mean, he's got, he's got the defense held. You don't even need to worry about infantry. Just micro the calf for a bit. But yeah, this general is just going to get chased down. You can already tell that's going to happen. These royal cataphract. Yep. Yep. Here they come. Royal cataphracts, you're not going to get away. They got the charge bonus. They got the speed of the charge. They're going to catch up. Yep. And that is going to be royal cataphracts. Second unit of royal cataphracts and the general nonetheless. They're going to die. I'm not even going to pay attention to it anymore. Parthia's general is dead at this point. Which is a huge blow to Parthia, especially since he's definitely got a lot of infantry left. We even have some Parthian foot archers with that with full ammo. What is going on, Parthia? Yo, Parthia, are you throwing? Parthia low-key throwing this game right now. Threw away two units of cataphracts. Has an archer unit with full ammo charging into melee against some axemen. Oh, what is going on? This is definitely not a good day for Parthia. That's a unit of archers, Parthian foot archers. That unit could very easily also get about 150 to 200 kills. So at this point in time, he's got about 750 to maybe 800 combined kills for his units that are just going to get stomped out before they even do any major damage. That sucks. Axemen, though. Join in this fight. Currently, Axemen, they're actually losing decisively here. Parthian swords combined with the Thorax. Too much to too much to handle. But Parthia's general is dead. General is dead. Bactria's general still chilling. Do you have some Persian light archers on the wall there? The rail spears going to form square formation against these Thorax. We do have the attacking archers, the eastern archers, making their way into the settlement now. And they are going to start counter-archering. Start firing into Persia's archers, or Parthia's archers here. As well as the mercenary Syrians. This would be prime targets here. Mercenary Syrians, screw the infantry. These are, this is shield side shots here. This is not really worth it. I mean, that's actually kind of like backside shot, but... Yeah, it's good, but get rid of the archers. This is a unit of Eastern Archers that has full ammo, only 9 kills. They did just take a peel of volley. Parthian Swords trying to get some revenge. But yeah, this unit, only 45 kills, gonna get focused down by the Archers. This unit over here as well, Eastern Archers, only 13 kills. They're gonna now get focused down by Parthia's Archers once again, and the Syrians are gonna start firing. We've got Cretans just unloading into the Eastern Javelin men that have already almost 100 kills, though. They are out of ammo. Nearly 100 kills, pretty solid, especially since they're probably like 200. Here comes the Bactrian Royal Cavalry General. Please tell me these guys are not about to just commit slip and slide here. Don't do not do this to me. You've already done it with like three units. Oh my god, no. Bactrian Royal Cav, just gonna get flattened. Oh, oh boy, is this gonna be two units? Two generals units dead, and we still have 12 minutes left in this fight. 40 units, or 40 men left in the unit, now down to 38. They're trying to run away. Is this a bait to get them in range of the archers? 
I mean, it would be a pretty risky bait. I guess that's what he's doing. Royal Cataphrank's gonna lose a few there, but that was definitely not worth it. Lost 20? Actually, lost 30 men off that, off that engagement. Not worth it, and wasted some ammo there. Not really even gonna kill any of these guys. Actually, gonna kill two there. But back inside the settlement, we have the Royal Thorax Swordsman. Two units of Royal Thorax making their way in. I think we also have some Galatian Royal Guard also outside. So a lot of powerful infantry here from Egypt making their way up. Syrian archers out of ammo joining the fight. Trying to stop the Carly Axemen. Royal Thorax making their way around. They're going to get focused down by archers, hopefully. Parthian swords running around looking for a target. Their general still, once again, dead. Look at all that Pila, though, coming in. I will say, exceptional use of archers for both sides, especially the defenders. Defenders' use of their archers has been phenomenal. The attackers, though, given the same opportunity to get sword side shots into the defending units. I will say, very good use of archers on both sides. But the general here from Egypt is going to get focused down by four units of archers and chased by some infantry. They got their backs turned, and they're just going to eat some arrows. Down to half the unit, and they're just now getting engaged. Wow. Wow, voice crack. Wow. <laughs> I mean, even with the odds stacked against them, losing all that powerful cav units, I mean, they might just pull this out. There's just under 10 minutes remaining, and there's not a whole lot of infantry left. For the attackers, I mean, they have some powerful infantry left. But if they have if they have ammo to deal with it, shouldn't have too much of an issue here. The Rayo Spear is going to get charged into by the Royal Cataphracts. But they are braced. Have some Thoreo Spears making their way into the settlement. Egypt is almost spent here. A lot of, a lot of the units left are pretty much just elite units. Royal Thorax, can't even tell where they're engaged. I think they're fighting this Thorax over here. Unit of Thorax Swords here. 162 kills, definitely got their value. They are starting to break though, they are wavering. Their general, I don't think, is dead, so they are solid there. But Royal Cataphracts making their way around. Egypt's general just getting shredded. Down to 34 men. Is this going to be the, the nail in the coffin volley right here? General is still right there. He's chilling. Blue cloak. He's going to charge in valiantly. Huzzah, charge. Oh, he's going in. He's going in. He's going ham. Arrow fire coming in, though. Shredding dudes. Royal Cataphracts trying to get around. 100 kills. 49 men. Are they going to get around? That's a Pila, though, right to their face. Oh, snap. They're going to get caught by the Parthian swordsmen. Still trying to get through. They do have a little bit of an avenue. This is somewhat of a pull through. I mean, kind of like half and half. If they went like column and went like that, it wouldn't be so bad. But they're kind of stuck right now. And I think Armenia's general is going to die here. Egypt's general is dead. Bactria's general charging in. Gonna take a freaking face full of Pila from the Thoreos. Gonna get backed up by his Thorax swords, though. Royal Cataphract still trying to get away, getting chased by the Parthian swordsmen. Bactria and Royal Cav. General's charging general. Armenia's general dead. Armenia, are you out of the fight? No, you still got Cartley Axemen over here. Oh boy, it's getting really close. It's getting really, really close. We still have two fresh units over here for the defenders, but they have Thorax Swords and Galatian Royal Guard, especially some Archer support left as well. I don't know how much ammo the defenders have. I don't know how much infantry they have left. 
but it's getting really close. Balance of power, though, in favor of the attackers. And rightfully so, they definitely have more powerful infantry. I think the ammo is starting to run dry here. This is where you pick your targets wisely. Factory's general needs to stay alive. The Rayo Spears forming square. Archer's just trying to pick apart some of these lower units. Royal Thorax. 359 kills for the Royal Thorax. And they're going to get picked apart by the remaining archers, though. Wow, that is an exceptional amount of kills right there. But they have broken from the field, and they're going to just get destroyed. Oh, gosh. We have the Thorax Swords trying to get a flank on the Parthian Swords. Parthian Swords not going to hold out too well here. Just about every general is dead except Bactria's. Galatia and Royal Guard going to charge in. Or not. Nope, they're cycling around. We do have Armenia's troops breaking from the field here. The Carly Axemen have had enough. They're wavering, and they will break. We have a unit of Thoreos that are open. They're free. We have the freaking Parthian, or the Persian Light Archers that still have probably quite a bit of ammo because they've been sitting over here for quite a long time. Armenia left with just the Ballista unit. Bactria's general, though. Is he safe? Getting chased. Bactria is just about out of infantry. The archers, though, are going to get charged into by the Thoreos. Oh my gosh. It's moments like this where Parthia is like, holy crap. My three units of cataphracts could have made a big ass difference. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's moments like this where you got to think to yourself, damn, how much of a difference could those units have made if I didn't let them die? <laughs> oh my gosh. The general, though, still alive. Holy crap, he's holding out. Thorax swords, though, chasing him down. Galician Royal Guard. I don't think they're going to do it, though. They still have five minutes just about, though. Galician Royal Guard. That's going to be the main concern here. Yeah, that's... I think that's it. Yeah, Persian Light Archers out of ammo. Surprisingly out of ammo. Galatian Royal Guard just going to get... Oh, voice crack. Galatian Royal Guard just going to get fed kills. And here comes the Bactrian Royal Cav. Going to finish off the Nubian Bowmen before they can neutralize the tower. Wow. It's getting crazy. We still have ammo in these Parthian Foot Archers. They're firing into the Galatian Royal Guard. Back over here, this unit of Thoreo Spears. Form square, please, you are surrounded. Oh my gosh, they're fighting a bunch of archers. They're fighting the dollar store daggers. And they will break from the field. Unacceptable. This unit of Thoreo, though, getting charged into by Bactria's general. Gonna get broken from the field. Oh my gosh, Bactria's general having a field day here. 162 kills, down to 12 men. Oh yeah, that's a lot of juicy archers though. If you could charge into that, boom. Wait a minute, what is this? We have a unit of thorax. 160 kills, 45 men left in the freaking unit. Making their way over. Bactria's general also making their way over. Parthian Wood archers running away, trying to kite out these thorax. I mean, they still have ammo, so it's exceptional. They're even able to still do this. But here comes the general's unit. Going to charge in. They are now in range of the arrow tower, though. But they're just going to run around, try and get some kills on these Cretan archers. Thorax also getting engaged into the Cretan archers. Galatian Royal Guard making their way over. All the generals, I think, are dead. Bactria's general, surprisingly not. How? Battle rhythm going up on that unit, but yeah, that's not going to be enough. That Thorax is going to get cut down by the Galatian Royal Guard. This Thorax getting shot up by the archers. Shot in the butt. Bactria's general, I think, is dead now. Just about. Gotta be dead. No way you're still alive. Six men left? Come on. What is this? This general is immortal. 
Oh my gosh. The general's the last man standing. No way, it actually is the general. So he's got the he doesn't have the cape and he's got like the different helmet. Wow, the general. <laughs> he's like, peace out, dude, I'm gone. <laughs> Wow, the general, 222 kills. The general himself is going to run away from this fight. What the heck, what a battle. Then we have the Parthian foot archers. They did rout that thorax. They still have ammo. But that, yeah, that's not going to be enough. Let's just go ahead and fast forward the rest of this. <sighs> I gotta say, actually, you know what? I'm not going to fast forward it because I'm going to look at some of the carnage. Look at the freaking carnage. I mean, this was an exceptional, exceptional defense. Especially with Bactria being the main front line, having to put forth most of the infantry due to Parthia, spending a lot on the cavalry. So there was a lot of infantry that Bactria had to put forth here. And the archers, Bactria's archers, definitely performed pretty well here. Getting some nice sword side shots on a lot of this infantry. Cutting down a lot of them, but I, I gotta say, the cataphracts... The cataphracts really did make the difference. The Royal Cataphracts out here, only getting 120 kills, could have had three times that. The Camels could have had like six times the amount of kills they had. And then the General himself could have also had about two or three hundred. And just those three units alone could have just mopped up all of this very easily. But just like that, the Archers are going to break at the sight of the Galician Royal Guard, and that will do it. Galici Corby on the attack will take victory. By the skin of their teeth. But I gotta say, look at the carnage though. It's just so epic. But I, I can't I can't get over it. The cataphracts, man. The cataphracts. The opportunity was there. Those cataphracts literally would have turned the tide of battle if they were utilized like more properly. Especially over here where they had the hillman outside just rear charging that infantry. Man, cake. Just cake. Anyway, it was it was well fought on both sides. Even with the Cataphracts being lost early, the defenders still gave one hell of a defense. So let's go ahead and take a look at those end of battle results. All right, please feel free to pause the video on anybody that I click on if you want to look at individual kills and statistics as I'm just going to go ahead and cycle through. But starting us off, we have Egypt played by Raifu. Oh my gosh, lots of units with over 200 kills. We have Armenia played by Ruvak. Bactria played by Kaichi. And we have Parthia, played by Lemurex. I do hope you guys enjoyed this siege battle. This was game number one between Galici Corvi and the Deathbringers. A uh, link to game number two should be somewhere up here. But once again, hope you guys enjoyed this siege battle. That's all I have for you guys today, and I will catch you all later.